I come now to the last of the uh, questions that uh, I have on the formal list of questions, and it's around the planning and design code again on contributory items and now called representative buildings. The new planning system has decimated heritage protection in the state, removing previous protective heritage planning clauses and providing no clear process for the future listing of new contribu contributory items or representative buildings. It is well acknowledged that this reform process failed the community and local governments on many fronts, but particularly in relation to heritage protection with promised improvements not realised. Question asked by Liz Vines is, how will you address this planning catastrophe? Her words, Robert Sims. Well, I, I totally agree with the, the concerns um, of the, the questioner. And, uh, you know, from my perspective, this code and this system has been written to serve the interests of developers, not um, the interests of the community. We really need to tear it up and start again because it's fundamentally broken. It's a fundamentally um, flawed system. And if we don't take action quickly, I fear it's going to be too late because we risk seeing the destruction of these beautiful heritage buildings right across the state. So what will I do? Well, the Greens have always raised this in the Parliament. We've consistently voted against um, moves by both of the major parties to strip the community out of planning. We'll definitely do that. And I can give a commitment that no matter who is in government, we will hold their feet to the fire to make sure that they fix our planning system. It's vitally important and it's a key priority for us. Thank you. Dr Close. As I said earlier, and it's very annoying for me, as it must be for all of you, I'm not in a position to talk about our planning policy quite yet. But I can say I have no doubt that Rob Sims will hold our feet to the fire. And uh, I hope that we're in a position to be held to the fire by, uh, by the lovely Rob Sims. Uh, thank you. I thought you might be saying that. I mean, I don't mean a bit about holding your feet to the fire. But, no, uh, no, no. Yes. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> thank um, you, Susan. <laughs> the Honourable Sam Delook. Yeah, absolutely. As I've already said tonight, we need to go back and revisit the whole planning code. We need councils and communities to be involved in that. And we need to ensure that protection of uh, our heritage spaces are front and centre of of any review and of that planning code and to allow for contributory items to be included and added and, and enhanced. It's just a no-brainer. Thank you. The Honourable Frank Pangello, do you uh, acknowledge look, this is a disaster and what would you do? Well, it, it is a disaster and, as we've already indicated, it needs to be corrected through uh, legislation and it's great to see that we will have the support of the Greens and also uh, uh, Mr DeLook in the lower house and hopefully Labor when they announce their heritage policy. And look, I pointed to this the other day. I only just was thinking about it uh, again in discussions with people within the, the industry that the enormous impact, the planning changes that were brought in by the previous minister, who was a Labor minister. So the problem that we've actually got today with the planning code and the huge infill that we're seeing in our suburbs was actually a Labor initiative. And you only have to go down Churchill Road and see the monstrosity that that, that area has become. We now have a situation in, uh, in the metropolitan area where there is this massive demand for, um, uh, for property. We've seen property pr prices go through the roof. Properties are now being bought to be demolished and multiple dwellings to be built upon them. Uh, and as a result of that, it's putting pressure on uh, contributory items. We're seeing it also start to encroach in, uh, in key suburbs, particularly one near me, of course, Colonel Light Gardens, a garden suburb, uh, and there are concerns there uh, that uh, all this modernism is going to encroach on that suburb as, as well. You know, we do need to take um, perhaps a, a leap from some councils that are moving in this area, Prospect Council, for instance, and also the city of uh, Norwood, Payman and St Peter's. And uh, credit to the Mayor, Mr Breer, who moved a motion recently about protecting heritage and contributory items in his city. It's important that we protect those places for future generations. And uh, even though they may only be 150, 200 years old, they are part of our beginnings and we should not stand back and allow progress to just sweep them aside. Okay, thank you for that. 
We all wait with bated breath, I'm sure, for Labor's policy announcement in this area.